Hello again. Uh, we spoke last time about data normalization and scaling for uh, or scaling to a certain range, for example, between 0 and 1 or between minus 1 and uh, 1. And we explained the formula and we had a simple example. This time I'm going to show you a small PHP script that I developed that actually uses the formula to compute the, a, 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 the new value uh, within a certain range. So last time we had this data set and we had the range between minus 1 and 1 and we chose 9.11 to actually compute the corresponding value or the new value within the range uh, minus 1 and 1. Now my PHP script looks like this PHP is a very nice language that uh, you can actually use to write even shell scripts so this would be actually a mini tutorial for you, a small tutorial for you on how to write even shell scripts using PHP. Anyway so that's how you do it that's the first line uh, it should lo always look like that and then you open your angle bracket with a question mark PHP and you close the script like that and then this is how you declare variables so remember from, from the previous video uh, or from here actually you can see that now that our maximum value from the data set was 17.3 the minimum value from data set was minus 21.5 uh, the maximum value for our new range was 1 which is range between which is the range between minus 1 and 1 and the minimum value was minus 1 and then the input that uh, we wanted to transform was 9.11 remember that when you do this for a data set don't do it for a single value unless you have a very good reason otherwise if you don't have a good reason to do that your data will be inconsist inconsistent and you will likely to get undesired or wrong results anyway so when we plug that in th these values in our formula the output was this value here yes and now here I am actually implementing this formula here if you see this this formula is actually implemented here and then if I run the script now if I run with, with these values I should get the same number so let me quit and then run the value run the script I'm sorry and I get the same number. If you notice, that's that's my new Y, and this is the one in my previous video. It's exactly the same value. Thanks for watching. And uh, in, in my next video, in my next video, I'm going to show you how you actually denormalize the data now and get the original value back. And then I'll show you another PHP script. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments or questions below. Otherwise, see you next time.